Oh, 0600 in Texas. Time to get up. And military dad Laval is giving our Aussie teens their orders before their first day of school. You guys are not only representing yourselves, but you're representing your country, Australia. So do yourselves proud and your country proud, and just, you know, do the right thing. I don't want you to have to go to boot camp. Nobody does. Behave or boot camp? Laval's message is pretty clear. But is it getting through? I feel like absolutely I haven't been to school since I started the year, so it's like nearly a year, and now I have to go to school. The reason why I dropped out of school was like to get the away from it, and now I'm going back to school, and it's really pissing me off. In this county of Texas, dropping out of school is not an option. It's illegal. So, whether they like it or not, Corey and Thea will be spending the week at Calhoun High. We are the assistant principals of the high school. It's our job to get you guys uh, ship shape for Calhoun High School. Uh, this is a tobacco-free, drug-free, weapons-free zone. We do not say the F word. We do not say damn or hell at Calhoun High School. In fact, if you are vulgar or disruptive in the hallway, we have a police officer who works for the district and he will write you a ticket for disorderly conduct by language. The hat is gonna have to go while you're in the hallway. We do not allow any kind of head covering inside. We do not allow any piercings. So this is gonna have to come out before you go to any of our classes. I'm sorry. Okay, you try it. You got it? Hey, there we go. Man wants to go to class, let's go. Lesson one. And thanks to his eyebrow piercing, Corey's already late for music class. Hey, here's my eyebrow, man. Please. It's gonna close up. 229. <laughs> He's already broken two school rules without even trying. And it seems the threats of hard labor, boot camp, and even jail have fallen on deaf ears. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Where's the way out? <laughs> right, we're going. Hey, okay, I gotta go to class. Do you go to say? That's the way out. Come on, I can't be late. I'm going. We'll just leave, right? You can't do that. Huh? I think they have fled the jurisdiction. Danny and Chris, uh, can y'all beat me out of in front of the school? We're missing a couple of students. I think they went to McDonald's. Yes, sir, we're on our way. Uh, this is uh, Mr. High School. I'm one of the assistant principals. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, the two uh, visitors uh, that are staying with you this week have uh, have uh, taken off. They've left school. If they could get a ticket for curfew violation. So let me see if I can find them. I just wanted to test out the school to see how like if they would catch us tonight, and I thought they would catch not. us as soon as they're fucking yeah. I'm amazed, like, it's such a strict school and they haven't got us yet. Give them time, Corey. Give them time. And it's not just a school rule they've broken. It's a Calhoun County law. That means a ticket for curfew violation. And they still have to face their new dad, Laval. Oh my God, he's making us wait, I swear to God. I want to resort to my old army ways and just show him that this is not acceptable behavior. Get up and follow me. Get in the truck. For myself and for the school district here, we take discipline very seriously. And so they have to learn that there's consequences for your actions. It seems like they've gotten away with whatever they wanted to do in the past, and there was no consequences. Welcome to Texas. You wear your rubber boots or your shoes? Put them on. 
think this is a game, think it's funny getting kicked out of school, making me look like a You want to play with me? Game on. Laval's brought the teens to a farm feed store. Their punishment? Move three tons of feed bags at 22 kilos a bag. This is a technique that I've used in the military. I was a training instructor there. Moving objects from point A to point B that are heavy, that uh, are physically taxing, it's a good challenge. Are you gonna help him or not? I won't do any. Okay, hey, that's cool. Go sit on your butt. I hope you can do a hunger strike for the next seven days because you're not gonna eat a damn thing. You wanna be on a hunger strike? Doesn't bother me a bit. I think Thea feels that she can get away with anything because she's always gotten away with whatever she wanted to do. And now she's gonna face the consequences that. I'm not going to put up with any of that. I never have, and I never will. I do the same with my own kids. I'm there to do what's right and teach them the right things to do. And she's either going to get over this, or she's not. That's her choice. He's like, oh, you're not going to eat for seven days being smart. I'm not being smart. I'm pissed off. Drive me insane. I just want to get it over and done with, but there's so much of it. Because we mucked up for one. Imagine you mucked up for the rest of the week. Mm. Give me a cigarette. I'm going to run the muck and make this guy's hell for the next seven days. Tough words, Thea. But the punishment's not over yet. Remember boot camp?